today I want to show you how to draw almost like Nemo the fish. So it's going to be a simple fish and it's going to have certain things in the picture that will be really cool. So the first thing you need is you need landscape paper. So put it up that way rather than long ways. And you need a pencil. I'm going to use chalk pastel today. So if you've got chalk pastel, get ready with the chalks. These are my chalks. Let's go. So the first thing you want is think about a rainbow. So think about in your piece of paper, you've got the middle bit, it's going to be like a rainbow, and then you want to do upside down rainbow. So upside down. So it's like an eye. If you think about an eye like that, it kind of reminds me of an eye anyway. <laughs> now we want to create the mouth. So we're going to make this rounded. Can you see what I just did there? See what I just did there? It's um, instead of pointy, it's just rounded. And then I'm going to do just where that bit is here. I'm going to go whoop, and then back again. But I'm going to go out when I go back. I'm going to do this. Can you see? So what I'm going to do then is rub out. I'm going to rub out this bit and inside. And I'm going to make this bit quite long. Like I'm just going to join that to there just to make it a little bit more like a mouth. And if you can't do that, just do um, a line is fine. You don't have to do a smile like that. Quite like doing this at the end because it just looks kind of cute. <laughs> and then we're going to do a big eye. So it's up to you how you want to do the eye. I quite like doing something... Something like that's cool, but you can do any eye you like. And then what I want to do is draw the fins. So I'm going to just touch there and I'm going to go out. And then on the bottom, touch there and go out. And you want to create almost like a wavy line. So a bit like that for the tail. And we're going to rub out some things. So we're going to get our rubber and we're going to rub out this line here. We do not need that line. Okay. Then, super simple, we're going to do, just up here, we're going to do one fin. Doesn't matter how you draw them, just like a little bit like that. So we've got three fins up on the top. And on the bottom, you've got like a little fin. And then you're going to do... A fin going inside of him. So touch about there. Just put a dot there and go. Whee! So if you can't do that, just think of it like a fin that goes in. So just line, cross, up, across. Reminds me a little bit of a wobbly rectangle. And we're going to rub out whatever's in there. We don't need that anymore. Now, I want to do one little fin in here. So we're just going to go... So it's up to you where you want to put it, but about there is cool. And then we're just going to do some lines. So he's got a line near his head, coming from here, got a line down, then got a line there, it's like a wobbly line. Wobbly? That's quite cool when they're wobbly. And then we could just do some lines there, just to make him look like he's got little bits of um, texture on his body and then what I thought would be nice is we could have little baby fish so we could just do the same principle so we've got the rainbow upside down rainbow this one doesn't need to have a different mouth we could just do this so to keep it simple and then do a little bitty eye bitty bitty eye and then for this one I'm going to do a line then I'm going to do some really cool fins. So I'm going to do one coming out, one coming out. That's going to be the tail. And we're going to go. Ah. Now the other fins are going to be inside the body, a bit like that one. So we're going to go in like that. So this one's in. So they're like, they remind me of big triangles. If you look at them like that, they're kind of like a triangle. If that helps you. Now we're going to rub out. Do not need anything inside the fins. 
and you don't need anything inside the tail then we're just going to do a really cool design so we're going to go I won't go over that just yet because it's wet we're going to do some bubbles then we could do some reeds I mean I might do a couple just because it looks kind of cool so we'll do some stones just any stones you like it doesn't matter and then some wobbly grass Meow. I like to intermix the wobbly grass so like this Can you see what I did there? I kind of went up and then floated over, floated over. So it's like I'm not touching inside, but I'm still doing the lines. So that's all we need to do. So now we're gonna color it in with chalk. So just think it's, oh no, no. <laughs> Let's see if it's dry, it's not quite dry. Let's do some triangular shapes for there. That'll be cool. Oh man wet okay let's color in so for the first one I want to do a really cool orange so I'm gonna get this really nice orange there I'm gonna color all of him there orange and then I'm gonna do him a stripey I think that's orange but then he's got a tail as well isn't he that's orange so let's just do all this orange now the fins are kind of orangey but with a bit of white so we'll just do that for now right as soon as you've done orange for the chalk pastel you're gonna smudge so you're blending it nice orange isn't it okay oh I forgot one little thing it's got a little fin there just color that orange now because yours isn't black pen you won't be able to see all of your lines in a minute so I'm just gonna do a blue eye just here you could do any eye you like so what I thought we could do is get a darker orange so this is my dark orange and I'm gonna outline Okay, then just draw over with your finger. You could do near the eye. You draw it over super carefully. I might go around the eye. Okay, there we are. So that makes him stand out. So if we wanted to do the, the other fish, I'm gonna do it like a green. So we're just going to do the face green and stripey like the above one. Might actually do that. Okay, so that's an interesting green, isn't it? But then we can outline it with another green. It's best to blend it first, the green in, which I completely forgot. You don't have to, but it's neater. So. If I wanted to blend it now, it just makes it a little bit trickier, that's all. Do you know what I mean? So you can blend the green and then put the dark green line around it if you like, and then obviously put the detail in there. Now our bubbles are blue. Blue bubble. Hmm. That's kind of cool, doesn't it? Okay, I wouldn't mind going over with a black because black makes things look cool. So his eye can be black. There you go. Kind of looks cool, I think, with the black. Now the stone. I'm going to do a kind of 
kind of grey. Grey, which I'm going to smudge. And then black. Just like that. Just so it outlines it. It makes it look more like a, um, a rock. It looks kind of cool. I reckon, what colour? Should we do a really vibrant green? I'm doing this green. It doesn't matter. You can do any green that you love. It could even be pink. Like It could be like coral. I like that. Okay. And then just outline it like you did with the other thing. So we're just going to outline all the roots. There we go. Oh, I forgot it's not the one, one bit. There we go. Couldn't say it just then. There we go. How cool is that? So there is my very simple picture um, of a lovely clownfish. And we've got, where did my green go? Clownfish and his friend. Nice to put his friend in there, isn't it? He could be called Bob. <laughs> there we are. Enjoy. Let me know how you get on and send me your pictures because I love seeing them. If you wanted to, you could make the rocks kind of have shapes on them just because then it doesn't look like this. They're flat. Do you know what I mean? Oh, so if you just go over with texture it makes it look like they're not flat it's kind of cool there we go so enjoy drawing your clownfish let me know how you get on and i'll see you soon